Hi, Zach Pater here at River Valley Marina, River Valley Power and Sport in Red Wing, Minnesota. Wanted to give you a real quick video walk around of a very good looking 2015 Yamaha SX190. Very good looking package uh, paired up here with the trailer. Boat comes with a full cover. You can also see the bimini top up there. Beautiful black hull. Uh, deck shear and then the SX190 graphics going down the side of it. Take a look at the back of the boat here. Kind of what Yamahas are known for is this two-tiered swim platform. Nice backrest, nice non-skid. The easy clean-out port underneath here is definitely a highlight feature with the Yamahas. Does have a ladder with a couple of grab handles there. Stainless steel cleats. Again, down the side of the boat, just very attractive, sharp-looking graphics. Just a good-looking overall setup. Take a quick look at the uh, rest of the outside, and then we'll jump inside. All right, so we are jumping on board this uh, 190 here. I think the most noticeable thing is for a 19-foot boat, how roomy this cockpit is. A lot of seating. You got the nice U-shape in the back, the two bucket seats. Good looking snap in flooring, big ski locker. Uh, like I said, we'll kind of dive in and take a look at a few more features, but just a really nice layout for a 19 foot boat. I think with any used boat, we're always looking at condition of things like the seats, the exterior. Take a look at the seats in the boat, and video isn't gonna do this justice, but overall they're very nice, they're very clean, the stitching's not coming apart or anything to that effect doesn't show to be all faded out or anything uh, just very very nice very very clean overall the uh, bucket seats here they do have flip up bolsters simply flip them up and you got more leg room the ability to sit higher or to be able to stand up very cool feature you also see grab handles down below in front of the passenger seat you've got a glove box Flip that open and you've got the uh, stereo head unit along with a 12 volt outlet, nice storage. As we flip over to the other side, you'll see the dash inlay uh, around the gauges, actually matches the same paneling used for the glove box and the backdrop for your switches. Your no wake mode down underneath, you've got tilt steering. Controls are easy to get to and then you've got a couple of drink holders tucked underneath so the wind doesn't get to them The boat does have an eight person capacity So that's kind of nice that way uh, Grab handles again in the back just overall a good-looking setup As we work our way to the bow of the boat you'll kind of begin to see all the nice snap-in carpeting don't You definitely don't have to use the carpeting. It is nice keeps it uh, a little more gentle on the feet we work our way forward, and this is probably where the 19 Yamahas are the most impressive. Look at how big and wide this front end is for a 19-foot boat. Most 19-foot, uh, 18, 19, 20-foot boats you go into, the bow is very compact. This has got the nice wraparound combing, nice backrest. You got a stainless steel grab rail there, stereo speakers, cup holders in the front. Just very, very nicely finished. And again, the upholstery is in very nice shape. Another highlight notable feature in the Yamahas is all the storage. One thing nice about this particular bow section, you've got a lot of storage. You've got the anchor storage up front, you've got side storage on both sides. But if you notice how all the seats are removable. Now pros and cons. The nice thing about this, you can clean all the channels. All of it is channeled so it does drain, but you can actually clean everything. Some of them that are hinged, it's hard to get underneath those to clean them. That allows you to really take those seats off and clean the whole uh, area very nicely. Another nice storage area here in the 190 is the side storage compartment. It's very big, it's deep, it's open. You can see life jackets, fire extinguisher, things to that effect down in there. Just a convenient spot to uh, store miscellaneous items. The in-floor storage on the 190s, they're held up with a strut so you don't have it falling on you. It's also easy to get things out and probably hard to really notice this on video, but the inside is actually fully finished fiberglass. So it's all fully uh, polished gel coat. You'll see it's got the uh, gasket sealing on it there to keep water out. It is fully drainable though, and there is a mat down inside. So a, a very good ski compartment on a 19 foot boat. 
All right, we're gonna continue on storage of this 190. You'll see in the back behind the uh, driver's seat, along with behind the passenger seat, you got two nice compartments. The one behind the uh, passenger seat here on the port side also is home to the battery switch. So it's nice, convenient, and easy to get to. Very, uh, very nice uh, storage compartments in this 190. All right, before we jump back out of the boat here, I definitely wanted to show you the motor compartment. The 190, it's just crisp and clean. You can see they have got it set up with two hydraulic struts to keep the hatch open. Very big open entrance here. This particular one's got the 1 1.8 liter high output in it. And all the rigging is just nice and clean and crisp. This uh, 2015 model that we got here for sale only has 64 hours on it. So I'd say it's pretty much uh, very lightly used to say the least. All right, so that there is going to conclude a real quick video walk around to this SX190. Very good looking Yamaha, nice bimini top, full cover, 64 hours. Should just be a great, great boat for somebody to go uh, play on the water. Again, I'm Zach Pater here at River Valley Power and Sport River Valley Marine in Red Wing, Minnesota. Please call, text, or email with any questions that you might have. Be glad to set up a time to view the boat. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to view our video and have a great day.